Want an easy game to grow your dog's confidence? Would you like your dog's tail to wag when you pick up their muzzle? Cone game is great for building confidence and can be used as a fun foundation for muzzle training. Hold a treat in one hand and pop out a flat palm to the side of your dog's head at head height. Mark with a bright yes or a clicker if you like clicker training and give them a treat. Most dogs will look at it or sniff your palm out of curiosity. If they ignore it, don't worry, pop your hand away. Don't leave it there so it just becomes boring. As they come back towards you, pop your palm out again. If they're using their paw, try holding your hand up just above their head or mark and reward as they're coming towards you before they get close enough to lift up a paw. I'll give you some more troubleshooting tips in a moment. Once your dog has got the idea that touching your hand with their nose is the aim of the game, you can switch into using a cone or a yogurt pot or a beaker, anything that your dog's nose will fit in. How is this game going to help your dog? Well, your dog's nose is their most acute and sensitive sense. A cone will be touching their nose, their muzzle, even going close to their eyes and ears. Throw a piece of food away from you to get your dog moving and reset them. It encourages them to want to come towards you rather than running away if you get a muzzle or even a harness out. Yes, good, very nice. And once they're confidently popping their nose in it, you can ask for repeated touch. Then we're not mouthing it. Yeah, okay, we'll take that. <laughs> you can ask for repeated touches before you give them the piece of food. Ready? You kind of missed it, didn't you? Yay, good boy. Good lad, ready? Yes. And again, yay, good boy. <laughs> That's a terrible throw. Yes, good boy. Here's some troubleshooting tips. If they're mouthing your hand or the cone, time your mark and reward before they get to you. Use the release cue and toss food away to get a little distance between you. As long as your dog isn't nervous about the cone or muzzle, you could put a piece of food in it. But we don't want to create conflict for our dogs if they want the food but they're worried about putting their head in the cone. If they're not moving towards the cone, keep your hand still. Don't be tempted to move towards them. We want them to want it. If they go into a sit, they may get a bit mentally stuck. Rolling or throwing a piece of food away from you can get them moving physically, and as they orient back to you, they can probably offer you something different. You can grow even more desire for the cone by shuffling backwards so they have to search you out. Mix up the objects for even more confidence building power. You can easily introduce a muzzle as one of the objects. Yes, lovely. Yes, good. Yes, good girl. Yes, good boy. Once your dog is loving this game, you can grow the amount of time they'll hold their nose in the cone or muzzle. Of course, you can just let them lick the remains of a yogurt pot for the fun of it. Whether you've got a 10 week old puppy or a hand shy older dog, cone game is such a useful game. So what I could do now is I could do a different object. Um, I could use his muzzle. Um, so anything at all, getting them used to stuffing their nose into objects happily for some treats or some of their dinner. Good lad. <laughs> Did you want to do another one? Thank you. Very good boy. If this video was helpful, hit subscribe for more. Why not watch the game of Cardboard Chaos for even more confidence boosting fun? See you in the next video.